Hello and welcome back to our garden. Now today I've had some activity. These are some potatoes I planted maybe three weeks ago and they have started to sprout. Now this variety is called pink fir apple um, potatoes and once they start growing like this what we need to do is cover that up. So use some soil, I've got some soil and compost mix here and we need to bury that. Bury it completely because then we will have um, more growth. Now it depends on, you, you might have to check whether your potatoes are either determinate or non-determinate. I'm not sure if these are determinate or not. And determinate potatoes are those that will only grow uh, to a certain amount. They, they, they will limit how many potatoes they uh, produce. The um, non-determinal type are the ones that um, can grow as many as you like. It, it depends. Okay, so that's that pink fir apple. And that will grow stronger and bigger and more potatoes will be produced as a result. Now here I have carrots. Now you probably can't see it on camera, but I've got a bad case here of carrot fly. Um, very small green and the, they move so quickly, it's unbelievable. They're all over this plant, these plants and you probably can't see them because they're absolutely tiny. Um, what you need to do is mix a bottle of water with a couple of drops of just your normal washing up liquid and give them a good spray because that will knock all the um, all the carrot fly down to the ground and they won't be able to get back up again because they can't fly but only use a very minimal amount of washing up liquid and you might want to water after just to wash out any residue there is from uh, that and that's how you get rid of any pest for that matter that will get rid of the flies and the lava etc okay while well, i finish that off let's pop over to canada and see what's going on in the garden of kimberley hello again i'm just doing a quick video this is my hydrangea and it has bloomed beautifully look at all the blooms on it they're absolutely gorgeous and this hasn't bloomed like I said before there's some down here in four years since I've planted this I have not had flowers on this and again you can take these and you can cut them they're not fully bloomed yet but when they're fully bloomed you cut this and you just put it in a vase and you dry it and it's beautiful it'll last forever you don't do anything else to it just put it in a vase and that's what I plan to do with these I'm gonna put them all in a vase and when I do I'll show you I'm just showing you I haven't done much to the garden it's just everything's blooming now and this is another bush that's just starting to bloom it's gonna have all little yellow flowers on it and then this has actually bloomed this is one plant. This one plant produced these colors. Look at the colors. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Just a quick video, and there's a bunch of new ones coming on. And then this isn't my Rose of Sharon, but this is the one in the neighbor's backyard. But my Rose of Sharon, it'll bloom soon. And this is what it'll look like. Again, absolutely beautiful. This one's really tall. I haven't let mine grow this tall. But I just thought I'd do a quick video and show. Have a great day. Thank you, Kimberly, for that lovely message and those gorgeous flowers. Now, speaking of flowers, if you have tomato plants that I have to attract bees and butterflies and all the things that we need to pollinate our um, our fruits there, I planted here. A, it's just a random pack of seeds, and I think it was called Sea of Blue or something like that. So plant flowers close to your... These are gorgeous. Look at the beautiful colours on these close to your um, tomato plants or whatever plants you happen to be growing and this will attract bees, butterflies and all those necessary things that are needed to pollinate your tomato plants and they're gorgeous, they're blooming there and of course all the bees will come in now and the butterflies and pass the pollen from my tomato plants yeah they're kind of companions, they're good companions if you go flowers around most of your vegetable plants it, they will be um, good companions for them Okay, thank you so much for watching. Me and Kimberly, God bless you downs. Like, share, comment or subscribe if you so wish. And we'll see you next time around. God bless you downs. Bye bye.